Okay, so I'm just going to show you in this video quickly how to calculate a t-score. There is no way for the t-score to actually be run in SPSS, so you have to create a variable. So we're going to go up here to transform, and again, we're going to go to compute variable, and I'm going to reset this so I can do it for you. So my target variable here is going to be t-score agility, because I want a t-score for the agility. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say 50 plus, and I have to open my parentheses here, 10 times agility z-score. All right, and I'm going to move that in there, close that up, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go back here, and here is my t-score. Okay, so this one, this person here we know is below the mean. This person here is above the mean if we know that a t-score the mean is 50 and the standard deviation is 10. So we can do the same thing for our, um, our strength and our vertical jump. So I'm going to change this to T-score strength. And I'm going to take out Z agility and I'm going to put Z strength. I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to click OK. And I should have now a T-score for strength. Again, this person's above the mean, this person and this person are exactly at the mean. The mean is 50. And we're going to do the last one for our t-score and we're going to do vertical jump. We're going to t-score vertical jump. I'm going to take out my z strength and I'm going to put z vertical jump. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to click OK. And now I've got my T-scores as well. So you can use, sometimes it's easier for people to, when you say, okay, well, they're at the, fifth, they're at the 58th percentile, you can maybe think of that, or they're at the 50th percentile, that means they're at the mean. Okay, so sometimes these are a little bit easier for people to interpret versus um, a Z-score. So that's the way that you would calculate a T-score in SPSS.